farm in the countryside or Canada Place? A village in China or Stanley Park? Just another Wednesday morning or the beginning of a great escape? Stick around for a fresh look at what's going on in the Vancouver scene. Today, the University of British Columbia is the destination for my city escape. I'm going on safari to the Beatty Biodiversity Museum. I'll see thousands of specimens, mammals, plants, fish, insects, fossils. Then I'll step into a treasure trove at the Museum of Anthropology. I can't wait. Hey, Kiko. Hi, Brett. That is amazing. That is the largest blue whale skeleton on display in Canada. Blue whales are actually the largest animal to have ever lived on Earth, even bigger than dinosaurs. Wow. What a great place you have here. Now, the blue whale is actually just one of over 500 different exhibits here at the Beatty Biodiversity Museum. Wow, where? Well, the rest of the museum is actually underground. <gasps> so if you follow me, we can go and take a look. Oh, I can't wait. The museum has over two million specimens all housed in these cabinets here. And one of the things that makes the museum so special is that it's what we call a working collection, which means that researchers from UBC and actually from around the world do research with the specimens that are housed here. You might be wondering, what is biodiversity exactly? At the Beatty Museum, I learned it means how everything from tigers to bacteria to flowers connect ecologically what their history is and what role they play for humans. How awesome is that? Wow, some of these specimens are really beautiful and inspiring. I know, artists have borrowed all different kinds of specimens from our collection to photograph or use as models when creating their art. And some of their artwork actually appears on our walls. The different species on Earth are, first of all, they're so cool, there's so much beauty, there's so much drama there, there's so many stories. But secondly, they're so important what it does for us, ecosystem services. Biodiversity is also important for the opportunities that it contains for understanding how to build chemicals that affect things because many organisms have been doing it for millions of years. It's also the case that it's an important source of happiness, how we see the world and being in nature. How amazing to have a place like this right here in Vancouver. I mean, how long would it take me to experience all these plants, mammals, fossils, and insects out in the wild? My eyes were opened wide to nature's beauty at the Beatty Biodiversity Museum. Feeling inspired and ready to see more, I crossed campus to the Museum of Anthropology. The Museum of Anthropology inspires understanding of and respect for world arts and cultures. Here I experienced different continents and other centuries. I saw eye-popping art and heart-stopping artifacts. I even got to touch one of Bill Reed's carvings. Yeah, there's a great piece that Bill Reed carved. So Bill, Bill Reed's a, a Haida artist, uh -huh. and he was really instrumental in the revitalization of Haida art as a Northwest Coast style. So it's very nice that they can come in here and feel the sense of cedar, um, all the Northwest Coast shapes that are carved into it. Now you might wonder, how could these old things matter to us now? I like the Parker, actually, the Inuit oh, Parker, yeah. because you can relate to it now. They have massive great big hoods with the fur, and you think, that's where it came that's from. Where it came from. <laughs> yeah, just the, the smallest Inuits. thing, but you know, you can relate to that, even in Western society. Catherine, Tara and Paula come from London, really well designed. They use lighting really well to make the most of the what you're looking at. Andrew Shelton, the museum's director, said that beyond the totem poles and other priceless native art, another part of the museum draws people deeper in. We become something of a labyrinth or a kind of Aladdin's cave. Um, the multiversity galleries, you can explore cultures from all around the world. Clothing, jewelry, vehicles, weapons, power, Beauty. Life. Artists and craftspeople come to the Multiversity Galleries to study masterful work and gain inspiration. Mr. Shelton told me about another exhibit that draws people even deeper in. We have a, a huge collection of silver. Um, I think uh, 170 pieces in total, spanning 3,000 years. But what they all share is this idea of luminescence and light the reflecting of light, which symbolizes kind of divinity, expression of the sacred. 
beguiling artifacts that convey profound ideas will always be here. But Luminescence, the Silver of Peru exhibit, will be gone on December 17th. So come before then and don't forget to see nature's treasures at the Beatty Biodiversity Museum too. See you next time on City Escapes.